so so the um, I guess the uh, the healing the focus on our mental our spiritual lives um, it's been our physical um, it's it just feels good like it, it things feel so much better now than than before and we've had we've had um, we've had friends come to Christ that that walked with us through this and um, we've had um, we've seen um, it just seems like so many good th th when I say good things it's just one thing after another um, even with um, our kids seeing them grow there's a couple things couple big things I've learned through this process these last two years um, if I did write a book I think I would name it God never shows up and what the reason I say that it's it's because I hear a lot of times people say God God really showed up for this and God showed up but when you say God showed up it implies he wasn't there and oh, yeah. and so I don't think he ever shows up I think he's always here and we've learned about God's presence and we we sense it we know it we feel it sometimes I physically can feel something and I know that's what it is and um, the other thing we've learned is that when we're when you're going through something an illness um, a relationship issue any of that stuff we've, we've seen this happen many times now is that God has um, as a as a believer we believe that God is good and if God is truly good then his plan for us is good and so what we've learned is that it's very difficult to see the good that's happening in those moments because we're built emotional mm -hmm. and um, and we're caught up in that moment but once you get through those moments and you can reflect back you can see what he's really done mm -hmm. like when I was talking to oncologists I felt like that I now know that was probably the Holy Spirit making me feel aggravated with the word chemo and um, but anyway there's some of that stuff happens but we've we there's we just there, 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 there's a lot of good that does happen is what I mean. So. Out of this darkness yeah. comes yeah. this amazing, you said the past two years have been wonderful and the audience is probably thinking, no, past two years have been horrible. Did you grow up believing? Uh, I grew up in a Christian mm -hmm. faith. Um, mm -hmm. I did not become a true believer until I was in my 20s mm -hmm. and um, I didn't understand having a relationship with Jesus until then. I, didn't, mm -hmm. I just completely didn't understand it. And um, and so I'd say my early twenties, but the or mid twenties, um, on there too. But. Yeah, yeah. And how about you? I grew. I came to know Jesus as a young girl. Good. And he got that foundation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To shake that foundation, there are those three words: you have cancer, and uh, you guys have really. I can see. Man, we, we see so many people suffering with this. And you, you know the thing is, is that it's not going away. We're going to see more and more and more of this. And um, we need to be prepared. Mm -hmm. Like, we got to be prepared to help people. Yeah. I see 2034, 10 years from now, the uh, Albert Bennett uh, Beat Cancer book, and it's called My People Perish, for <laughs> lack of knowledge. You guys are wonderful. Thank you for coming in today and sharing that story uh, with us. We'll all take it to heart. Thank you. Thanks for You're welcome. Us. Thank you, too. Thanks for having us.